Hello, I'm Ray. And I'm Jenny, and we're over Family Reviews, and today we're Ray, we're putting Gottschalk Clovers in order. <laughs> That's my answer. Oh, poor Ray. So, I like Roland Wrights a lot. Ray does not. I can tolerate some. And, and at least one of these is better than most. Yes. So, um, over... <laughs> Can we tell which one Ray knows? I can't. Um, I like this one. Anyways, um, over Thanksgiving when we were visiting Ray's dad, we got Gonchon Clever um, as a deal, slightly used, like someone had played it once, and I fell in love with it. So then Ray, so nicely for Christmas, got me the rest of them. Yep, sure did. It was a very, uh, it was very self-sacrificing on his part. I also now have them all on the app. That's how much I. But we're going to go in order of which ones we like the best to the least. Um, and so to that end, in the last two days, we have pl we played all four of these, what, two days ago. And that was too much for Ray. Yeah. And then we replayed yesterday and today, three and four, because Ray had to decide which of these he hated the most was his actual commentary. That's not true. I said hated. <laughs> yes. In order. I didn't say the most. I do not. Roland Wrights are okay to me. Like, I like Yahtzee. I actually like, and spoiler, I like John and Gonchon Clever. But if I'm going to play a Roland Wright, I really don't want it to add complexity. Because if I'm going to play a complex game, I'm going to look for a complex game. There are short games that are complex mm, all over the place. That, that have choices. I don't want to roll dice because dice hate me. I don't want to roll dice to see how the game goes. And yes, I'm a miniature gamer. Yes, I know that is hip, hypocritical. I, hypocritical. But I, I get mad at the dice there too, but I get to move the guys around. So why don't, okay, you. Okay, so mine, the one he keep knocking over, this is probably my favorite. I really like both three and four. Um, this was a, a hard push for me. I really like three. Um, I like the complexity. I love all the different bonuses. I really enjoy it. The bonuses um, are cool. So I really like three. Then it was really hard for me to decide one and four. Um, I decided I would put one probably second and then four. And this is actually my least favorite, which is the, the second one. This you, is the you, one. You do know they can't see them laying down. Right? Okay, yes. I'm going to put them back up. Okay. So, um... I, this is how I would order them, and actually they got to go this way, right? Because oh, you're fine. What, whatever. Yes. So, what? <laughs> Two is her least favorite. Yes. Um, I like the complexity of both three and four. Um, I play a lot of them on the app. Um, I would say that I love the simplicity of the first one. It's very straightforward. It's very easy to teach. Um, both four. Four and two, what they have is there's places where you have to double do them to get the points. Mm -hmm. And um, especially that really bugs me in this one. That's probably the, the yellow area where you have to do the two. That really bugs me. This one, the bonuses make up for everything. I love that. But I cannot master the gray area. I have never yet got a fox in the gray area. I don't know how it's possible, but I realize some people figure it out. Um, so if you've got tips, let me know. But I can't get to a fox in the, the gray area. Um, I like this, the base of this, and then I said I really enjoy the complexities of three and four. So, Ray, yes, <laughs> but that one last. So, this one's last and Ray. I think this one's first, right? Oh, yeah. And then you had to decide between these two. It's, it's probably, it's probably this order. Uh, Gonchon Clever, so that's pretty clever. Clever forever, twice as clever. Clever cubed. We'll play no problem. We'll play because she asked me. And then we'll choose an area control game that will take all day and be hostile for her to. You will be playing Kemet. I end up playing Kemet anyways. That's true. And he so, just picked up another one yesterday, horse trading with a friend, so. Well, uh, yeah. That was a grill game. And it's shorter than Kemet. Yeah. <laughs> so, okay. Real talk on this one. Rolling rights. If you want to roll and write, you like Yahtzee, you're going to like these. You're really going to like this one right off the bat. If you like, um, 
And, and I will play these three over Welcome To. I like Welcome To, too. I will play Welcome To over Cute. So. Now, Cute, I, I do think, so Clever Forever, we had played and then we were playing. It's like, yeah, I kind of get seeing this. I, I do think by the time two days ago we got to three and four, he was so done. I was also, I had a headache. I was like, yeah, I, and, and, I and last night when we played Clever like, Cubed, I do think that was part of it. But he doesn't, he thinks Roland Wright should be straightforward, something yeah. more along Kemet or Yahtzee. No, Kemet. <laughs> you saying Kemet? Kismet or, or Yahtzee, Yahtzee versus um, one of these. But if you want some more thing, I, I think yeah. they're a lot of fun. And um, the rules are not that hard to pick up between one another. There no. are a lot more nuances, yeah. especially in three and four. Well, oh, you get the bonus once you do two, but you get more points if you get that. There's a lot of nuances. Yep. And so you do have to, um, and it is really, I will say, so I was trying to figure it out, and I realized really quickly I could not learn the game from the app. I had to play it here and read the rules, yep. and then I could go to the app, fine. But so I couldn't figure out half the time what the app was doing. But the app is really nice once you know how to play it. Download download the rules if you're going to use the app. Yep. I don't, I don't. No, what what else do you want to say? It's it's a roll and write. You roll dice, you write numbers where they go. Yeah, you move the on. Pa the, the passive player thing is really fun, and yeah. actually we played this once as a three player, and that was fun. I'd like to play it some more. I'm hoping to get it maybe out at a game night and play it as a four player. I think it'd be a very different game. So he doesn't have to play. So no, that's no, our no, no time out. Why well, you got to fit with people like that? Yeah. Well, you know, sometimes they'll get out of it. So that's our opinion of all these. I think they're all great. He tolerates some more than others. Yeah, this one's good. I, I actually like the original one. It's straightforward. It's quick. It's, it is. it is. Oh, you know, though, pet peeve. Okay, so Clever Forever. We open up Clever Forever. All the others have had... Dry erase, dry erase markers. markers. This comes with one pencil. Now, there's the thing to be... To be uh, ecologically or whatever. Which is fine. Which is fine. Except why didn't you give us four? Or why didn't you go to dry erase? You still gave us a pad of paper. This one that you have to pass around, especially with the passive player, this is awful. I I'm sorry, but the, the whoever made this, if you wanted to not use the dry erase markers, fine. But four pencils then. Uh, this one was these guys. Schmidt. Schmidt. Well, whatever. This... Horrible idea, guys. Horrible. I, I don't think it solves anything because we just go get pencils Strong, out of the thing. Stronghold in the U.S. Yeah, or just tell us we need pencils. But this one pencil, th th that's a joke. Um, or honestly, though, I think we will probably laminate these um, and try to go dry erase that way. So that would have been a better choice, in my opinion. But I know you were trying to keep all the boxes the same, which I do appreciate uniform boxes. So, so. well, there you go. Thank you. You guys have a great day.